Mr. President, I want to add my remarks now for the third time about this shutdown. I want to say that uh, this is not the way that we ought to be running our government and enough uh, ought to be enough. For example, as you know, uh, the Secretary of Defense has uh, figured out a way that he could bring most of the furloughed uh, civilian employees back. There's still maybe a quarter of them that are, are still on furlough, but most of them, uh, by a law that passed here, uh, it's almost unintended consequences, but there was a little uh, a part of the law that he was able to bring back for the national security and defense of this country. But there are still uh, gaping holes. For example, although the active duty National Guard is not furloughed, a lot of the civilian force and the reserve force of the Guard is furloughed. Mr. President, I just talked to an F-22 pilot of the Virginia National Guard. Uh, this is a longtime fighter pilot in the United States Air Force. Uh, F-15s, now F-22s. He has transitioned to the National Guard, went to a unit uh, that has the F-22s, which is the Virginia National Guard. And all of those reserve National Guard pilots are still coming in and flying because we still have to protect the air defense of this country. They're flying, but they're not getting paid. And some of their technicians are there still supporting the maintenance of the aircraft, and some of them are not getting paid. And all of the ancillary support staff is on furlough. Now, is this not another example that in the protection of the national security, in this particular case, providing for our air defense through an Air National Guard unit, is this the way that an Air Guard unit ought to be run? Instead, it's not being run according to how it should be because of a political tantrum by certain people trying to get their way instead of allowing the government to be functioning through its appropriations. Mr. President, there is now a salmonella outbreak, 278 cases in 18 states, including my state of Florida. The Centers for Disease Control, which monitors at one time, in the case now, 30 different diseases operating in this country, 68% of the Centers for Disease Control have been furloughed. And so, because of the salmonella outbreak, that has occurred, and it may be in the presiding officer's state as well. I'll look it up afterwards and tell the presiding officer. It is in my state. I know it started in California, where most of the cases are. But, Mr. President, had the CDC been there in full force, instead of 68% of them being laid off, maybe we wouldn't have had this outbreak or they had been able to spot it and stem it quickly before it spread to 17 other states. I'll give you another example. NASA. 
This little agency is the one that has the most people furloughed as a percentage of the workforce. 97% of the NASA employees are furloughed. Since most of the NASA work is done by contractors, without the NASA supervisors there now, the contractors are being laid off. You take a place like the presiding officer's state of Ohio, the Glenn NASA Research Center, look at the impact to the people in that community. You take a major uh, space center elsewhere, such as the Johnson Space Center in Houston, the Kennedy Space Center in my state, look what it's doing to the lives of people. But remember that we have a mission that is going to Mars that has a unique one time in two years launch window starting the middle of November into the first part of December. If that narrow three week launch window is missed because of the lack of preparation of this spacecraft to launch, there's not, a, not another launch window for two years. Because of that, we were able to get NASA to recall that team. They're there continuing to prepare the spacecraft and not getting paid. But at least we're not going to cause all all of the additional delay of two years and all of the additional expense of keeping that team of scientists together along with the safing of the spacecraft for another two years. Now, there are three examples. The National, the National Guard and the defense of this country the salmonella outbreak because of the layoffs of the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control, and NASA. This should not be. Enough is enough. The political tantrum ought to stop. And let's get back to the business of governing. Mr. President, I yield the floor.